Oh, with the cold winter weather, our feathered friends need a little TLC. With tips to help the birds and the squirrels, we've got our gardening expert, Frank Ferragini. <laughs> It's really nice if you can get the um, the lovely birds chirping around your house oh. and your neighborhood, oh. and it just makes you feel so good and connected with nature. I feel like I'm in the backyard right now. I see right. the color of a cardinal flying it's in. It's beautiful. I hear the sound of a blue jay. How do we make them come and stay and sing their beautiful songs? So first off, let's kind of break it down on a lot of different options. You know, when it comes to birding, it attracts all ages, and there's so many different options, and you can spend as little as just a few dollars on a feeder, make your own feeder yep all the way up to two thousand dollars on a bird 2, feeder yeah I've seen bird feeders that are on uh, made out of copper on a copper pole mm -hmm. where you push a button the bird feeder comes down Excuse easy me. to feed yeah so there is okay. high there's high end bird feeders okay. out there but it doesn't matter the bird feeder yeah what attracts the different types of birds is the seed itself that you put in the feeder that's right so you can have any feeder out there but only certain seeds are going to attract so okay, for what instance, do they like thistle which is also known as Niger seed that's for goldfinches and some of the smaller birds more so for summer feeding okay safflower if you love a dove if you want the sign of the symbol of love to come to your yard you put safflower out okay peanuts Do hey peanuts in the shell peanuts if you want guys to drink beer in your backyard you do <laughs> <laughs> <No peanuts. laughs> No, peanuts are great for uh, things like blue jays like peanuts. They'll they even take like them peanuts. out of the shell and even uh, squirrels themselves. Probably the best seed out there in the world. If you want to do one type of bird seed, one type of bird seed only, yeah. do black oil sunflower seed. Oh. Has high oils that helps out the birds and their feathers during the winter months. Attracts the widest range of birds overall. Best value for your dollar. And they sit there and they just eat through those shells like you with a good bowl of pistachios. Huh? Oh, they do. And a lot of birds, what you will find with good birds too, meal. some birds will actually pick them and then throw them. Them, yeah, and then go down and then feed on the ground. Oh, got those it. those ones that actually fall. Yes, they then sometimes will germinate in your garden and cause weeds later on. Okay. So sometimes where know. you're locating the feeders is important too. Yeah. A lot of the times with with a mixed bird seed, just a general mixed bird seed, mm -hmm. all those little kind of round things that you see in there, a millet. A lot of that is the throwaway bird seed, so that's filler. So okay. sometimes it's really not a good idea to go to mix. And if you're wondering what these are over here, 80% of the birds in the world eat insects. Yes, these are mealworms. Oh. And Are they dry? They're dried mealyworm. They're worms? dried mealyworm. No, they're living right now. No, they're a dried <laughs> mealyworm. And that dried mealyworm can provide an excellent source of protein for things like woodpeckers, but also blue jays and even robins. Oh, so if okay, robins nice. are coming on earlier on, yeah. Most beautiful. importantly, a lot of the times when the birds, you get the bird seed out there, and then mm -hmm. you're wondering why am I not having any birds? Yeah. And all of a sudden you see this bird flying around. I. That <laughs> totally terrifies me. It does. It does. <laughs> this. This is an owl. Look, look at the head. Oh yeah, watch in the eyes. Ah. Oh. So in real life, these are like they're huge. They can be really big. Right. So all of a sudden, if you have bird feeders at your you know, birds at your feeders, and all of a sudden you see them scattered, yes. a lot of the times a bird of prey is, a, is above. Got and it. that's why it's really important with bird seed and bird feeders is to have it located close to an evergreen. Oh, the reason okay. being is as soon as that bird of prey comes out, they'll fly and hide in the evergreen to try to protect themselves. Got it. So sometimes if you're not, if you have a good bird feeders, you have good seed out there, and the reason why they're not coming is the birds of prey are coming around. Got it. In the winter time, if you're wondering bird bath. This is a bird bath that's not on a stand right now, but if yep. you're wondering why it has a power cord, this is a bird bath with thermostats, so during the winter months, there's still going to be a source of water for them, and it will not freeze. Okay. So if you really want to get into birding, you really want to be good to the birds, make sure they do have some water, and you can even get other bird baths, larger bird baths, yeah. with a bird bath heater that you can put in there that's on a thermostat that will come on and off over time. It's like an all-inclusive. All like inclusive. you just, there's the buffet and there's your unlimited drinks. Yeah, exactly. Right? Exactly. Don't come. I'm not talking about health at all today. But <laughs> you know why? Because we're going to go right from that buffet into this buffet, and this buffet is what's known as suet. Yes. And do you know what suet's made out of? It, isn't there, aren't there seeds in there? There's seeds in there, but also, do you know what binds all those seeds together? Fat. You got it. Yeah. yeah. Good old. Good old fashioned old fat. 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 It's and, good for them. And there's so many different types of suets that are out there that you can attract different birds based upon the suet. Yeah. And they really play an important role out there in giving them fat during the winter months to help them during those cold periods. Mm -hmm. So suet is really good during the winter months. Sometimes in the summer months can then melt. So it's more of a winter feeding. Got it. This here is a, is a suet. These are suet balls. And that is just in a log. And that is perfect for a woodpecker. 
They well, just peck away at they that. They just peck away at that and they'll go in, and they'll eat away, and a lot of the times they'll stay away from some of your trees and whatnot, yeah. and this is just one that's empty, but that's also somewhat attractive, rustic in itself. But you know, when you have a woodpecker, it's such an amazing thing. So you, your kids will get really excited with it over, they overall. They do, and then they go and they can, they can Google it, they can see what kind of bird it is. They enjoy yeah. that, you can hear the songs. I love the ones that are sort of a little bit more rustic. I and do they too. sort of fit right into the, you know, nature. The natural environment. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, this is a that looks like something I would eat. This, it looks yeah. like a trail mix. <laughs> this, this looks like something at a, at a health food store, right? Yeah. <laughs> I just had a workout, now I'm gonna go out and eat my trail mix. <laughs> um, this is a seed cake. Oh, okay. And this seed cake is really, really rich and really good for many birds. This is a really inexpensive feeder, so that's, that's there cute. with the seed cake and everything is under about $15. Lovely. So bing, you're in there. Uh, peanuts as well, that's just another one that good. you can do. But what I want to talk about at the end is, so every garden center out there, every birding place, we all supply the world with squirrels so squirrels go out there and eat all your bird seed and yes, then you have to buy do. more no, I'm just joking with that <laughs> um, squirrels can be such a nuisance and there's lots of squirrel feeders that are out there so these are all squirrel proof feeders which are all spring loaded so when the squirrel oh, goes on I they'll see. actually shut down and close so um, this is so the squirrels can't steal the food for the uh, for the birds yeah. yeah remember that a squirrel can jump six feet out unbelievable and often can jump six to seven feet up yes okay they can also go across poles dangling yeah these guys here are the Cirque du Soleil of <laughs> Mother Nature. <laughs> they are unbelievable. They are unbelievable. So you gotta say to yourself, how the heck am I gonna keep them off my bird seeds? Right. And how am I gonna keep them away? Because also, even these squirrel proof bird feeders, some of them I've seen where they even will gnaw away and will eat away at oh them overall. Oh my goodness. Because they're quite aggressive. Yeah. Another thing that you can do is if this is on a pole, mm -hmm. you can actually put this on the pole and this is a baffle. So what happens is the squirrel keeps on walking inside uh -huh. and can't get around. I've seen actually squirrels maneuver their way they around figure this. It out. They're smart. Super smart. So locating your bird feeder, making sure that it's high enough away from things will really help you. And yeah. then finally, if you can't beat them, you feed them. Is that for the squirrel? This is a, a squirrel. nice little corn on the cob for you, buddy. Squirrel feeder keeps them nice and busy. Yeah. They'll eat that cob, they'll nibble away, they'll stay away from everything else. Provides a little bit more entertainment in your backyard as well. That's right, because the friends are going to come. Right? That's a party right they, there. Yeah, they party, they circus yes. soleil, they maybe do uh, <laughs> neat backflips. Yeah, they start doing twister out there. I don't know what the heck they're going to do. <laughs> but they have a great old time and they stay away from all the important things that you invested in. Good stuff, Frankie. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. It's